You want to understand everything, and that is not possible. If you insist on understanding, you're not considering your entire lot as a human being. Your stumbling block is intact. Therefore, you have done almost nothing in all these years. You have been shaken out of your total slumber, true, but that could have been accomplished anyway by other circumstances. After a pause, Don Juan told me to get up because we were going to the water canyon. As we were getting into my car, Don Gennaro came out from behind the house and joined us. I drove part of the way and then we walked into a deep ravine. Don Juan picked a place to rest in the shade of a large tree. You mentioned once that a friend of yours had said, when the two of you saw a leaf falling from the very top of a sycamore, that the same leaf will not fall again from that same sycamore ever in a whole eternity. We are at the foot of a large tree. And now, if we look at the other tree in front of us, we may see a leaf falling from the very top. He signaled me to look. There was a large tree on the other side of the gully. He urged me with a movement of his head to keep on looking at the tree. After a few minutes wait, a leaf cracked loose from the top and began falling to the ground. It hit other leaves and branches three times before it landed in the tall underbrush. Did you see it? Yes. Would you say that the same leaf will never again fall from that same tree, true? True. To the best of your understanding, that is true. But that is only to the best of your understanding. Look again. I automatically looked and saw a leaf falling. It actually hit the same leaves and branches as the previous one. It was as if I was looking at an instant replay. I followed the wavy falling of the leaf until it landed on the ground. I stood up to find out if there were two leaves, but the tall underbrush around the tree prevented me from seeing where the leaf had actually landed. Don Juan laughed and told me to sit down. Look, there goes the same leaf again. I once more saw a leaf falling in the same exact pattern as the previous two. When it had landed, I knew Don Juan was about to signal me again to look up at the top of the tree, but before he did, I looked up. The leaf was falling again. I don't understand how you're making me see a repetition of what I've seen before. What did you do to me, Don Juan? He laughed, but did not answer, and I insisted he should tell me how I could see the same leaf falling over and over. I said that according to my reason, that was impossible. Don Juan said that his reason told him the same, yet I had witnessed the same leaf falling over and over. It's impossible, I said. You're chained. You're chained to your reason. He explained that the leaf had fallen over and over from the same tree so I would stop trying to understand. In a confidential tone, he told me that I had the whole thing down pat and yet my mania always blinded me at the end. There's nothing to understand. Understanding is only a very small affair, so very small. You are going to change directions and you'll break your chains. He said there was nothing to understand about his actions and that sorcerers were quite capable of performing extraordinary feats. After 10 years of apprenticeship with Don Juan, my mind could no longer uphold my old ordinary criteria of what was real. Don Juan looked at me and there was such sadness in his eyes that I began to weep. Tears fell freely. For the first time in my life, I felt the encumbering weight of my reason. An indescribable anguish overtook me. I wailed involuntarily and embraced him. He gave me a quick blow with his knuckles on the top of my head. I felt it like a ripple down my spine. It had a sobering effect. You indulge too much, he said softly. 